I think it's done. just growing up, frankly. You know, I think we're all showier when we're younger. And I mean, when I made Thank You for Smoking, uh, I, I look at that now and I see a director desperately showing off every camera move he has, you know, in the holster. And what I've been trying to do with each progressive film is take my hands off the camera more. I, you know, I'd be much happier if you just forgot about the presence of the director and were lost in it. Is that you just loving to work with actors and sort of focusing on that mostly? I think I just fell in love with movies where the director was disappearing. Uh, and, uh, and I do, I guess, get lost more in the character journey uh, when that happens. Is there a director or movie that you looked at going into making this? When you think of directors that get lost and they get lost in the movie. I, it's a great question, and, and frankly, you know, I really connect Tully to the two movies that uh, I've made with Diablo before, Juno and Young Adult, and now this, and I feel like, um, you know, we started something with Juno, and we've been kind of following that trajectory now, and there's been films that we've watched in between each of them. I like Beginners, the... the uh, 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 that beautiful movie from like four years ago. That I, Mike Mills. I, yeah, the Mike film. Mills film. I loved that film and thought it was kind of perfect and that was a big influence. But if you know, if I keep on going further back, that'll get back to kind of Harold and Maude. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think it's more just kind of the directory of those and you know, using less contrast and getting more into the warmth and really just creating a safe space so that these brilliant actors can be spontaneous. 